The Great Andamanese languages are a near-extinct language family once spoken by the Great Andamanese peoples of the Andaman Islands, India, in the Indian Ocean. The last fluent speaker, of what may have been a Creole based on aka Jeru, died in 2009. However, there are still speakers of a coined form of Great Andamanese known as aka Juro. History By the late 18th century, when the British first settled on the Andaman Islands, there were an estimated 5,000 Great Andamanese living on Great Andaman and surrounding islands, comprising ten distinct tribes with distinct but closely related languages. From the 1860s onwards, the setting up of a permanent British penal colony and the subsequent arrival of immigrant settlers and indentured laborers, mainly from the Indian subcontinent, greatly reduced their numbers, to a low of 19 individuals in 1961, since then their numbers have rebounded somewhat, reaching 52 by 2010. However, by 1994 seven of the ten tribes were already extinct, and divisions among the surviving tribes, Jeru, Bo and Kerry, had effectively ceased to exist due to intermarriage and resettlement to a much smaller territory on Strait Island. Some of them also intermarried with Karen, Burmese, and Indian settlers. Hindi increasingly serves as their primary language, and is the only language for around half of them. The last known speaker of the Bo language died in 2010 at age 85. About half of the population now speak what may be considered a new language, a kind of mixed or coin language of the Great Andamanese family, based mainly on aka Jeru. This modified version has been called present Great Andamanese by some scholars, but also may be referred to simply as Juro or Great Andamanese. Grammar the Great Andamanese languages are agglutinative languages, with an extensive prefix and suffix system. They have a distinctive noun class system based largely on body parts, in which every noun and adjective may take a prefix according to which body part it is associated with, on the basis of shape, or functional association. Thus, for instance, the asterisk aka at the beginning of the language names is a prefix for objects related to the tongue. An adjectival example can be given by the various forms of yop. Pliable, soft. In akab. A cushion or sponge is at yop. Round, soft. From the prefix attached to words relating to the head or heart. A cane is at a yop. Pliable. From a prefix for long things. A stick or pencil is aka yop. Pointed. From the tongue prefix. A fallen tree is ryop. Rotten. From the prefix for limbs or upright things, similarly, bury na. Good. Yields. Un bury a. Clever. Hand good. Ig bury a. Sharp sided. I good. Aka bury a. Good at languages. Tongue good. Ot berry ah. Virtuous. Head, heart good. The prefixes are. Body parts are inalienably possessed, requiring a possessive adjective prefix to complete them, so one cannot say. Head. Alone, but only. My, or his, or your, etc. Head. The basic pronouns are almost identical throughout the Great Andamanese languages, aka B will serve as a representative example, pronouns given in their basic prefixal forms. This and that are distinguished as K and T. Judging from the available sources, the Andamanese languages have only two cardinal numbers, 1 and 2 and their entire numerical lexicon is one, two, one more, some more, and all. Phonology The following is the sound system of the present-day Great Andamanese PGA. It is noted that a few sounds would have changed among more recent speakers, perhaps due to the influence of Hindi. Older speakers tended to have different pronunciations than among the more younger speakers. The consonant sounds of P, K, L, were common among older speakers to pronounce them as, tilde F tilde beta, X, L. Sounds such as a labia velar approximate, with, only occur within words or can be a word final, and cannot occur as a word initial consonant. 
The sounds f, beta can occur as allophones of r, v. Classification The languages spoken in the Andaman Islands fall into two clear families, Great Andamanese and Ongan, plus one unattested language, Sentinelese. These are generally seen as related. However, the similarities between Great Andamanese and Ongan are so far mainly of a typological morphological nature, with little demonstrated common vocabulary. As a result, even long-range researchers such as Joseph Greenberg have expressed doubts as to the validity of Andamanese as a family, and Abbey 2008 considers the surviving Great Andamanese language to be an isolate. The Great Andaman languages are Great Andamanese Southern aka B or B Acker Bale or Bale Central aka Keed or Keed aka Cole or Cole Oko Juwoy or Juwoy Apuchikor or Puchikor Northern aka Kari or Chari aka Kora or Kora aka Jeru or Jeru aka Bo or Bo, Joseph Greenberg proposed that Great Andamanese is related to Western Papuan languages as members of a larger phylum he called Indo-Pacific, but this is not generally accepted by other linguists. Stephen Worm states that the lexical similarities between Great Andamanese and the West Papuan and certain languages of Timor are quite striking and amount to virtual formal identity in a number of instances but considers this to be due to a linguistic substratum rather than a direct relationship. Names and spellings, with populations, from the 1901 and 1994 censuses were as follows 1901 census aka Kerry, 39 aka Cora, 96 aka Bo, 48 aka Jeru, 218 aka Keed, 59 aka Koi, 11 Oka Juwoi, 48 aka Puchikor, 50 aka Bale, 19 aka B, 371,994 census aka Jeru, 19 aka Bo, 15 aka Kerry, 2 Local 4 Samples The following poem in aka B was written by a chief, Jambu, after he was freed from a six-month jail term for manslaughter. Go, do kuk larda, laji, ka Mo, rol, ma ka igba, dala Mo, rol, mo la aden, yara Po, tot la Chorus, aden, yara po, tot la, literally Thou heart sad art Sky surface to their looking while Sky surface of ripple to looking while. Bamboo spear on lean dust. Translation. Thou art sad at heart. Gazing there at the sky surface. Gazing at the ripple on the sky surface. Leaning on the bamboo spear. Note, however, that, as seems to be typical of Andamanese poetry, the words and sentence structure have been somewhat abbreviated or inverted in order to obtain the desired rhythmical effect. As another example, we give part of a creation myth in Oko Juwoi, reminiscent of Prometheus. Kuro T. On Mika Mam Miratla, Bilik L. Oko Emma T, Pikar at Low Top Chaik at Lecha Lech Lin A, Kataka Oko Kodak Chain at Low Karat Tadak Emi In, literally. Kuro Tun Mik in Mr. Pigeon, God, slept T, wood fire with stealing was fire the dot late lech to he, then he fire make did fire with carat tadak emiat. Translated by Portman. 
Mr. Pigeon stole a firebrand at Kuro Tun Mika, while God was sleeping. He gave the brand to the late Lech, who then made fires at Karat Tadak Emi. References Bibliography Yadav, Yogendra, 1985. Great Andamanese, a Preliminary Study. Pacific Linguistics, Series A, No. 67-185-214. Canberra, The Australian National University. Abbey, Anvita, 2013. A Grammar of the Great Andamanese Language. Brill's Studies in South and Southwest Asian Languages, Volume 4. External links Juro in IPA transcription Burren Hult's paper on Andamanese